Hey there, friends. I got tired of working in a spiral notebook um, doing my painting, so I figured out a little hack to make removable pages similar to the disc bound system like you see here. Um, this one was uh, a happy planner and I'm planning on using that as some sort of junk journal or art journal or I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I got that on clearance. But in the meantime, I am gonna take this spiral um, art journal and I found a little trick to turn it into uh, removable pages so that I can remove and replace pages as I go. You could always remove them all and save them and then rebound the whole thing, but I find that delayed gratification kind of annoying <laughs> because once I finish a page, I wanna see how it feels in my journal. So you just start by gently prying open the spiral system. I guess technically it's not a spiral, it's kind of a coil bound, but it's, um, and you wanna try to maintain that circular shape. And then um, just remove all of the pages in the front and the back. And once you've done that, then you just grab a pair of scissors and you're just going to make little slits on the edge just to the opening, in this case squares, um, trying to kind of center it in the middle if you can. And that is what is gonna create the removable or replaceable pages. Now here, I kind of did a little bit of an oops. I, if I would have paid a little bit closer attention in the beginning, I would have put the, um, the back on uh, first and then the cover because of the way that it was sandwiched. This way worked just fine, so I didn't redo it. But um, if you pay a little close attention to how you take it off, it will just affect the final product of where the middle um, section comes out. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but anyway, either way you do it, it'll, it'll be fine. And once you're all finished, you just take your stacks of pages and just work them back into the coil. This is when I realized I didn't place the backing the, in the same order that I removed it. So the outside of the coil looks a different. See, that's how it was originally, where that uh, joining point was inside the back cover, where now I have it on the outside, which again, it will work just fine. It's just a preference if you want it to look more like the original to kind of catch that back cover. But as you can see, I'm flipping through, I'm pulling kind of gently tugging on all these pages and they're not coming out at all. These pages probably can only be removed and replaced once. I wouldn't recommend trying to do it more than once because those, those little flaps might begin to get uh, weakened. However, so I took this page and once I was finished doing my art with it, I um, Mod Podged over it and, and then in my other journal, this one right here, I end up gluing two pages back to back. Then I flattened them under a heavy book and they kind of created almost a cardboard like page, nice and thick. So here's my first completed page in this notebook. So I'm just gonna show you how I pop it back in. Again, it's just kind of a gentle, careful process. I did spray this with a top coat, similar to Mod Podge, but it's a spray, a kind of a glossy coat spray. And it gives the um, paper just a little bit more um, sturdiness. And, and then just be kind of gentle. And as you can see, it stays in very nicely. You can jiggle it around, it's not gonna fall out. And there you go. Now you've got an art journal with removable pages. Mm -hmm.